Hello guys, welcome back. This is Rupesh and I'm watching CP Minutes video series on C++ and today's topic is STD Async. So, do you like a task-based system or you uh, want to create a task or something? If yes, then this is for you. So, let's try to understand what I mean by task. So, you have your program running and what you want to do is just create a thread which will run parallelly and you will go ahead with your program so this is your thread let's call it a task and this is your main function for for now hey guys time for a quick pause and what you're seeing right now is my patreon page so if you don't know what is patreon it's a crowdfunding website where you can support any content creator like me and in return you get rewards so if you join me i can be your private tutor or you just want to chat with me and ask your doubts or maybe you just want to support me with very small amount and i'll still have something for you so do visit my patreon page and see if you like it and if you want to discontinue anytime you can do that so if you have already visited my patreon page let's continue our video now so you created a thread it is running parallelly and this program is also running parallelly okay now what happens once this task is completed, you need a return value. Do you remember something about a, a promise and a future? Video I gave last time, maybe the day before yesterday? Yes. So this time, we are not going to use a promise here. This promise will be taken care by this async internally. So we are going to use future. And this is really easy to achieve what we were achieving using promise plus future. So we had to pass this promise to the task or a thread and there we used to assign the value inside this and that value will come to the future. So this is what we were learning, right? So if you don't know what is promise and future, I'll recommend please watch my previous video or you will get the link here. If I am not showing link here, please let me know in the comment section. I mean, I may forget, right? So promise and future. And in this video, as we are learning async, we don't need this promise. So Let's go through the comments. It runs a function asynchronously. Asynchronously means, you know that, right? That function will also run and your main program will also run. Okay, so simultaneously and potentially in a new thread. So we are good now and returns a standard future that will hold the result. So this is the key and the syntax is very easy, believe me. And we'll see that a little later. So it's obvious that if you will use this async, you would be able to create a thread. It depends what launch policy you are using. But for now, you assume that we use async for creating a task or a thread which will do your job and return something. And now the second point is there are three launch policies for creating tasks. Launch policies means you will somewhere write this async right so in bracket you will give here a launch policy means when you are launching this thread or task how to launch it so there is this first way async way another way is a deferred way so for simplicity you understand this that this async one is for threading i mean it will create a thread if you will pass the launch policy as async to this async function and in case of this deferred, it will not create a thread. And third one is, you are saying that, let the computer decide whether it should do this. Oh my goodness, I just wrote two times. This is deferred, okay? This is deferred here, okay? So now what we are doing is, we are saying that computer, please you decide whether you can make this task as deferred task i mean choose deferred if you cannot create a thread otherwise if you can create thread then choose this async what we are simply telling to the os that i know os this creating thread is a little heavy job and right now if you are able to do that i mean if you are able to create a thread please do it but if you are already overloaded i mean os is already overloaded then don't create a thread you create a deferred task and what do I mean by deferred task is not something else. It's just that whenever you will use the future to get the value, then only it will be called. Otherwise, it won't be called at all. Okay. I'll, I'll show you that example. Don't worry. So for now, just simply understand that async is 
create a thread and deferred is do not create a thread kind of a blocking call so let's look at the program and we'll understand this better so this is your program here and the program is we will create a task this is a task creation and as i'm passing this deferred here we will not create i mean it will not create a thread we we saw that right and the program is you have to find the odd sum between zero to this number and this is how the function would look like do you see this return type and this return odd sum i mean this is first time our thread this is a thread creation or task creation so first time we are able to return something from thread otherwise always we were either sending some variable from here to get updated here or we were sending promise and waiting for the future and this time this is the cleanest way to actually return something from this function when we are using thread so let's quickly run this program run step by step this is okay this will print no problem thread created if policy is launch async but our policy is deferred so it will not create it will just execute this line and keep a bookmark whether i should call this function with these two values or not it will just make a what do you call it i don't know it will just make an entry with this find odd function name and these two parameters where this 0 and this 19 number will be there so it will make an entry here it will run this command and it will run this one so as soon as you hit this one it will say that okay we are asking this future it means we have to run this function to get this value and now we'll be blocked here and until unless this function returns something we cannot move further and let's suppose uh, your function takes three seconds so we'll wait here for three seconds because we wanted that value what we are supposed to get from this function and we wait it and we will print it we'll go to this one and we'll be done so let's see that and we'll see how this async will work here so let's compile this and see the results so compile successfully and if i'll execute this see it is waiting for the result and then the result is this one and we complete it so you won't be able to see any difference actually i can show you the difference with the thread id print and if i will make this async then also the output would look similar and we will still be waiting for this result but as soon as this hits i mean whenever os is executing this line it will create this task and start running this because it is async it will start it immediately it will not wait for someone to get that and then only it will start no it is not deferred it is async it will start at this line itself okay so let's compile this guy and see if it is working yeah see the same wait here and we are done so do, do you think this thread and this thread is different let's print that so if i will print thread id this thread okay and the same goes here let's so let me read on this i mean i just forgot this two brackets here and it was giving one and one so that was super frustrating to find okay so can you see this we will be getting two different ids so first id is this one this one three nine and another one is one three nine but see the full number this is one three nine seven zero one four uh, something and this is something else so can you see this as we give this async these two different ids are coming means this main thread is running in different thread and this was executed as a task as a different thread now let's quickly make this deferred i know you wanted this let me compile this again and execute this and this time you will see that both of the ids are actually similar can you compare this 139 just compare this 4352 4352 so both 
was running in single thread means we did not create any thread actually it's a lazy evaluation and eager evaluation eager means you will be using this async here so this becomes eager the moment this line hits it will create a thread or a task and start that task but in case of this as a deferred it won't create a task it will just create an entry of a task that in future maybe I will have to create a task and when it will create a task when you will hit this get on this future and as it will be running in the same thread means it is a blocking call or something okay it is not creating a thread here in case of deferred so that's what I wanted to convey here guys cool right so next time I want to see you using async whenever you need some behavior like this what we discussed here so i will sum this video now thanks for watching guys and make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you will get the notification for upcoming videos like this i will see you in the next videos take care bye bye